All right, boys and girls. So we're gonna continue talking about different ways that we can be mobile. Now we've talked a lot about how our bodies move and you know what we can do with our bodies to move from one place to another, to dance, to jump, and all kinds of things. Today we're gonna talk about two things that we can maybe ride on or ride in that help us move, okay? The first one is going to be a wagon. Have you ever seen a wagon? Have you ever been in a wagon? Oh, and who pulled you? Perfect, yep. A wagon is a thing, what's it called? Um, a thing that you pull behind you and it's a little thing that you can sit in and it has wheels so that somebody can pull you. Can you pretend to uh, walk with your wagon behind you? You pull your wagon. Good job. That helps you to move because do you have to walk if you're in a wagon? No, you just get to sit there and enjoy the weather. Now, another thing that can help you move faster would be a scooter. Have you ever seen or been on a scooter? Yeah, and tell me, what does it look like if you're riding a scooter? Pretend you have a scooter right in front of you. How does it look when you ride it? Right, you're holding it with two hands and, you have, and you're pushing it with one foot so that you can go fast and out of the way. So yes, so that helps you to move faster so that when you're walking, instead of walking and kind of moving slow or running and using a lot of energy, you would be on a scooter to help you move fast. So let's go ahead and write about that today because we're gonna be reading some stories about those things that help make us mobile. They help make us move and help us to move faster or, or even just the normal pace, it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and write that sentence. Turn on your ears. Wagons and scooters help me move. Your turn. Perfect, let's add it. Wagons and scooters help me move. Uh, superhero powers, count it. Ready, go. How many words? All right, let's see. Wagon and scooters help me move. How many words? Six words. Good job. Let's go ahead and write it. All right. Wagons. What's the first sound that you hear in wagon? Wuh, 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 the letter W, good job. Wagons and scooters. What's the first sound you hear in scooter? S -s -s -s, the letter S, good job. Wagons and scooters help. What's the first sound you're hearing? Help. The letter H. Help me move. What's the first sound you're hearing? Move. Mm, mm, mm. The letter M. Good job. What do I need at the end of my sentence? Period. Good job. Let's go ahead and read our sentence. I want you to get your magic finger ready. Here we go. Wagons and scooters help me move. Your turn. Wagons and scooters help me move. Good job. And we talked a little bit about it, but let's talk about it before we go a little deeper into some other things. How do wagons and scooters help you move? Let's talk about wagons. How do wagons help you move? Exactly, wagons help you move by, you can put yourself in it, or you could put a bunch of things in it and just pull it behind you, like groceries. Or if you're going on a picnic, you can put all of your supplies in the wagon and pull it instead of having four arms. So they help you to move it a little bit easier. How do scooters help you to move? Yep, exactly, scooters help you to move faster. Right? Instead of running and using a lot of energy, you just ride your scooter and get to coast on by. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and um, turn on your goggles, look at our sentence, and tell me how many 
words are in our sentence. How many words did you count? All right, let's go ahead and see if you're right. Help me count, ready? One word, two words. I wanna hear you count. Three words, four words, five words, six words. How many words? Six words, good job. There are six words in our sentence, very good. Now there's a couple of words I wanna talk even more about because they have some good syllable practice. Can you say wagon? Get your rock ready, count the syllables in wagon. Ready, go. How many syllables? Wagon, two syllables, good job. Can you say move? Get your rock ready, move, ready, go. Move, one syllable. And last one, scooter. Get your rock ready, scooter, ready, go. Scooter, two syllables. Good job. Now today we're gonna to be reading some stories about wagons and scooters, so I'm really excited because we're gonna learn everything that we can put in a wagon to help us move things and even just to ride some scooters because scooters are fun. Thanks for joining and see you soon.